looks great. Not gonna lie, this is one of those things I'm very happy I started using. Hi, baby. Good morning, good morning. I like how, actually, let her energy right now. Okay. I am just so happy to say that I feel like I really got great sleep last night. I haven't said that in a long time. Water, first thing, replenish. You gotta replenish. And greens for a greens girly. I love this flavor, it's orange passion fruit. I'm running low though, and I just placed an order for a 60 pack. Like I wanna buy the bigger size, cause like I'm gonna go through it and it's like better value per ounce. This flavor doesn't come in a 60 serving jar, so sad. I ordered citrus, which I do really like citrus. That's one that I used to always get. I'll show you what it gets here. I just placed order yesterday. I'm like low-key really excited to check my <laughs> sleep score and stats for my ring. Every morning, my routine has been wake up, take Duncan out, feed him whatever, have water, and then I make my greens and I come in the office and I do my red light because like I just don't like to get up and do stuff in the morning Like I like to wake up. I'm a morning person. I got up at 7 today. It's not like it's like crazy early It's 7 19 now, but I just want to like drink my drink in peace So now's the perfect time to just like sit for 10 minutes Do my first red light session of the day Put on a podcast and just like wake up. I feel like I normally have way less energy in the morning because I haven't been sleeping as good as I feel like I did last night. I'm like, sorry, flexing so hard about that right now because I'm so happy about it. I do try to stay off my phone though, so we'll go over like Aura Ring stats later. I just unlock it quickly and then I'm gonna resume whatever podcast I was on most recently. I'm like constantly listening to podcasts. know what time it is i always do a full cup of milk in my morning iced protein latte that's just the ratio i like and i learned that mason jars have numbers on them i probably knew that before but just like forgot about it i used to literally have to put this in a measuring cup every day because i wanted the right amount for taste but also i wanted to make sure i'm getting a full serving of this has 13 grams of protein there's numbers on the cup And because it's literally a total of 36 grams of protein starting like right in the morning I need a good amount of time to drink it. I'm sorry if it's loud But like I can't just like make this drink it and go work out like I, I need time So that's why I'm happy that it's only just after 7 30 made my coffee ready to like ice roll sit outside Taking the fresh air like I love that and I'm really happy that it's still fairly chilly in the mornings right now so that I can let in like the cold air and like get some fresh air before it's summer and stuff and like when you wake up it's still hot 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 you know so I'm taking full advantage right now and just enjoying it I seriously like sit out on the balcony all the time I love it and so does he he's my little shadow right baby dunks it's really incredible though because I feel like without this drink I simply would not have enough protein in a day Like I'm just so proud like this is just like my perfect solution. It gets me a head start It's my favorite morning drink like I don't know man. I love it feeling extra grateful for it this morning Also, if my face looks really dirty, I self tanned last night and I still have to wash it off so Here is the outfit for the gym Love an all black look. 
always just like makes me feel confident. It's a little after nine, so I'm like, okay, Morgan, like get going here. I used to be so good about like getting to the gym at nine o'clock, but I just sat at my computer editing a little bit too long and it's like, there's no really need to be in a rush. I just like want to get there and like get started, you know? It's more just like in my head where I'm like, okay, like let's go, let's get on with the day. It's not like I have something like at 10 or at 11 that I need to be ready by but i'm trying to get in there and have a good workout so you can see my gym from a window like without going inside if that makes any sense and i used to always like go to the window first before i'd go in and like check how many people there and stuff but i've stopped doing that so that's on growth and the thing is it wouldn't even really deter me like there'd probably have to be a lot of people for me to like actually be like okay i'm gonna go later but it was always just like a mental thing i'm like okay i'll check how busy it is i'll prepare myself to walk in i don't even do that I don't even do that anymore. Like, I know I don't go to this, like, giant gym, so maybe you're like, Morgan, that's ridiculous anyway, but as a newbie gym goer, as of January this year, like, not working out at home, not working out at my house, where there is other people involved, there are other people, that's on growth. I want to be better about, like, starting with a full water bottle each day. Like, sometimes if my water feels full enough, I won't fill it to the top before I go to the gym, but I want to do that just so I can like track my water, right? If it's half full, I don't know if it's exactly half full, but if I start with a full water bottle, when this is done, I'm like, okay, 40 ounces down. I would say generally I'm a decent water drinker, but like, of course, there's times when I slack and we all know how important hydration is, so I need to stay on top of that, you know? As do you, this is your reminder. I found that I really like working out in shorts. I'm not the most confident in the appearance of my legs for many reasons, which I've touched on in other videos, but sometimes just shorts as opposed to leggings feel so much more freeing. I love a good pair of leggings, of course. I wear leggings to the gym all the time, but I've been really liking shorts lately, especially that my legs are like nice and bronzed. I put some lotion on, like whatever. It makes me like feel good and I'm like, okay, let's do this. Not that you feel perfect going to the gym, but you look good, you feel good. So if I'm feeling confident, you know, hopefully I will put that into my workout. Also, I'm realizing I never checked my sleep score. Let's go on the Wura app. I need chapstick. Big Aquaphor stick. Sometimes I'll put it on my eyebrows <laughs> to keep them in place. And I have my little Aura Ring sleeve protector that I like to wear when I'm going to hit the weights just to protect it. Of course, I know like over time it's gonna get worn in, whatever, but I feel much better wearing this. Let's see. What? I like feel so much better today than normal. My sleep score isn't even that good. It's 82, which I've had better recently. And like 82 is not terrible. It's not like it's 22, you know, but total sleep, seven hours and 22 minutes. Lately, it's usually an hour less than that. It's usually six and a half hours, which like for what? For what reason? Like why am I only getting six and a half hours of sleep? I don't know, so I'm really happy about that. And that hour difference, I feel like a new person. Imagine me at eight hours. <laughs> that would be crazy. Apparently, I didn't have a very good restfulness contributor, although I got more deep sleep than normal, so maybe that's why I feel so good today. If you want a little gym bag haul before I go, I literally just bring a little tote bag. It's not like I'm going far, but I bring a booty band, some warm-ups that I do involve a booty band, wrist straps, love these. And I bring this little attachment to the cable machine. They have one there, but they actually used to not, which is why I would bring my own. And I've just kept it in my bag. It's like the one that you can like Velcro, you know, hooks on, whatever. And then I'll always bring shoes for after, because after I lift, I usually go walk on the treadmill just for a mile. We have Wata headphones I'll put on and I'll resume a podcast. See, I love the idea of like getting hyped for the gym and like listening to like a good playlist. Like I truly feel like music can change the environment, but lately, and I say lately, cause like this could change, right? Routines can change. My mind can change at any minute. But lately I listen to a podcast, something that's very like fitness, wellness, health, whatever related. And I just hear people talk, hear good information, keep myself in a good headspace, and just go like slow and controlled, baby. You know, I'm just like trying to feel it, listen to my muscles, mind to body connection. Okay, I am rambling. Last thing we need, peace. My point was that I just try to make it like a nice and like calm environment and not like crazy stress, whatever. I feel like I really like that with lifting. I'm like, okay, slow and controlled. You can do it. Don't get overwhelmed, whatever. Okay, we need to go. Let's go. It's like 9.30. It's literally 9.30. Oh, Morgan.
Although I do this, sometimes I'm like working myself up for no reason. Like nine versus 9.30, does it matter at the end of the day for me? No, because I obviously <laughs> make my own schedule. So it's like, I just need to stop stressing out for no reason. Can you feel it through the screen? I'm sorry if I'm stressing you out. I take the stairs all the way down to like get my body warmed up before I do my like dynamic stretching warm up situation. And filming in the gym is always hit or miss for me. So we'll see what today involves. Empty right now. I decided to give you a mini little tour of the gym, apparently. But each workout starts out with a warm up, of course. It's usually like five minutes long, and each exercise is 30 seconds. Then we started off with squats. The plan technically says a high stance leg press for today, but I do not have that machine. So we did squats. I feel like my stance was a little bit wider than normal or than it should be. I don't know. Squats were definitely challenging today. I was wondering why that was so hard and I just watched the video back and I'm like dropping it low, like ass to grass. I'm having a realization I need to tell you after my workout so I'm recording this now so that I don't forget. Then I did this, okay, this is new for me. I've never done it before. It was like a one leg assisted RDL. If you have any critiques for me, feel free to share because I feel like these could definitely be better. I normally hold 45s when I do regular RDLs but I started with just 20 on one leg and I tried to keep as much weight as possible in my leg that was standing on the ground but I almost thought I felt these kind of in my lower back like in a bad way so I don't know I I don't know if I just need to get used to them or like what I'm necessarily doing wrong but it's kind of tricky to me like I feel like single leg RDLs are tricky to get the form compared to regular RDLs like are so easy for me to do then we did a good old leg extension love her and then a glute medius kickback so this wasn't like a straight back kickback it was kind of like a diagonal kick which this is also something I'm working on and I know my footing is a little bit wrong here, so I do need to fix that next time, but that is what I was going for then. <laughs> Definitely not my best workout, but that's okay. And then of course we walk it out. We go to the cardio gym, walk a mile, and clock out. I unfortunately don't have my bagels made, so I cannot make my little breakfast sandwich because I'm simply not trying to make like the whole actual bagel this morning. Like usually I have them prepped ahead of time, but we're just gonna do Eggs and sausage. Two turkey sausages. And two eggs. Not very exciting, but it's just what I need right now. My workout today was okay. Like, I liked the exercises, but I just, like, it definitely wasn't the best performance-wise. And I realized when I was like, oh, I had a realization. I realized I'm supposed to get my period in, like, three days, and that totally affects me. To be completely honest, I don't change my workouts or anything depending on, like, the phase or the week or whatever of my cycle, even though it does affect me. And if I, if I need to skip a workout, I'll skip a workout, whatever. Like, my body's down bad. Like, I'll rest whatever but I try to stick to my plan as much as possible and it's like if I need to go lighter I go lighter if I need to compensate for how I'm feeling like always do that whether it's due to your cycle whether it's due to a bad night of sleep whether it's whatever but I don't know like I feel like if I change my workouts it's almost like me letting it control me and I just don't like that like I don't like to feel limited I don't like I don't know but so I've noticed today I'm feeling it and yesterday definitely I'm feeling a little more like bloated a little more larger in the stomach area like than typical and I don't think I've been like eating different or anything and I was like wait <laughs> this happens this happens before my period to me so it's really annoying but it's also nice and reassuring like there's a reason I've been feeling this way. I mean, I had so much energy today. I woke up feeling great, as you saw, but I'm just feeling a little, like, larger the past few days, and it's like, oh, I'm almost getting my period, so that would actually make sense. I still went. I still tried my best. Like, I showed up. Even if it wasn't my best workout I've had in the past few weeks, like, that's fine, and it's not like it's ruining my day, but that's where we are right now. I wanna get just a little bit ready. I did skincare, but we need sunscreen, of course. It's gonna be like 80 something, sunny, hot today. We need all the protection. I decided I do like the sunscreen. I actually ordered it in the big size. I got the mini size at first just to test it out. It's the Hero Cosmetics Force Shield. It is a mineral sunscreen. It's non-comedogenic and apparently acne safe. 
So I love that personally. My skin actually, okay, this might sound hypocritical because of what it looks like right now, but my skin has actually been doing it so well and I think it's due to the red light. Like I've noticed so much less texture and like little bumps than I normally get up until literally like yesterday and the day before I noticed I'm like, okay, wait, I'm getting my period soon and now I'm getting like my normal like pre-period breakouts and I went ham picking my skin, which is so bad and I, I was doing so good. Like literally this whole month up until this week, I was so good. I didn't even touch my skin. Like a lot of the times I'll like go in the mirror and examine my face and just like go at it, which is not good. It's literally the worst thing you can do. And I was so good about it. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what got into me, but I was just like, let's, let's, uh, let's pop some shit. And that's why. That's why I am right now what I am. But on the day today, I really don't wear a ton of makeup. I do love to get ready. I love to put on makeup, whatever. But if I'm just like inside doing my daily stuff, like not going anywhere, no plans, I will do the sunscreen after all the skincare, whatever. And then I have been liking this skin tint, L'Oreal True Match. You can rub it in with your hands, your brush, your whatever. I think I normally do a brush. I just started using my hands today. But this is just like a nice little layer where it covers up and evens out my skin. I use way too much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna use a sponge to kind of like <laughs> take some product off my face. But it's just nice because it gives me like a little layer over my face. Like it just does enough, you know? And it doesn't even completely cover my like breakouts or anything, but that's totally fine. It really just does enough. And then what I like to do is not only put Aquaphor in my eyebrows so that they can be just like combed up and looking neat. Cause my eyebrows are pretty full, like they grow like crazy. So I don't always like fill them in, but just to brush them and get them looking neat makes a big difference I feel. What else I like to do is take this stick and I will put it, coat my eyelashes and curl them. I actually don't typically curl my eyelashes like when I do mascara and stuff. I just don't really need to, which is I know such a humble brag, but I just simply don't, which I'm very blessed. Honestly, my eyelashes are like my best feature. And look at that. See this one? I put a little aqua for it and just curled them and they stay just a little cute. See, it's just the little things. Like I truly feel like getting a little bit ready every day makes a big difference, but I'm just not trying to wear a full face all the time because <laughs> that was exhausting. Just my little hack. I mean, I doubt I personally came up with this. I probably saw it somewhere, I have no idea. But I've been doing it lately and I love it. And I also find that like, say I put makeup on tomorrow or the next day, my eyelashes just feel like conditioned and nice and my mascara goes on better, I don't know. I used to be a big castor oil girl. Like I'd put castor oil on my lashes every night. I haven't done that in a few years actually. This is what we do on the day to day. And I do like a little gloss. Hydrated lips is a big thing. So there's my no makeup makeup look. I also want to get back into wearing more jewelry. I used to be so good about wearing jewelry every day and I just love it. Like it makes me feel girly and I don't know. I just, I, I like jewelry and sometimes I just don't wear it. So I put on a little necklace. I have these gold hoops. We got some stuff. I'll put on rings in a sec. I need lotion though. And I have this Skims bodysuit on, which I love. Honestly, I think I want to order more of these. Just such a nice basic, and it's going to be so good for the summer, like an everyday thing. This is what we are looking like today. This is like my favorite outfit <laughs> formula. Comfy sweatshorts and a bodysuit. And I feel a little put together, but like also I'm barely wearing any makeup, which is nice. Again, there's nothing wrong with wearing a full face. I literally did yesterday, but like today I didn't want to. Do you want to go to the park? <laughs> I'll take you to the park. Let's go. Come on. Oh, it's a good boy. Leash. Keys. Ball. Phone. Lego. I don't know if anyone's there, but I hope someone's there so he has someone to play with and get some energy out. Wait. Go ahead. Wait. Go ahead. Are you ready to go? <laughs> I think you're ready to go. You good boy. There was a bone retriever there when we got there. They, they didn't really play with each other, but they like played with each other's balls, <laughs> like toys, which is fine. And then a husky came for a little bit. I wasn't going that long though, because it is kind of hot outside and the sun's being down. So I feel like Duncan just got tired so fast, which is totally fine. Right, <laughs> he's a good boy. I mean, we were there just to run out energy and like let him 
pee and stuff anyway, so. It's funny though, sometimes when we come back from the park, if he's like really tired and like played really hard or whatever, he can't even make it to the apartment door. He'll just like lay on the tile, like outside the elevators or whatever, and be like, okay, I'm done. Like I'm tired, cold floor, or whatever. Anyways, I got a cantaloupe the other day when I picked up groceries. I don't know how to tell when it's ready, but I'm gonna look that up and then hopefully we're gonna cut it. Lift it up, it should feel heavy for its size. Or button end, it should smell sweet like honey. We're going for it. Ooh, it looks great. It smells so good. I actually love cantaloupe. I don't love to cut it though. It is definitely one of my favorite fruits. That's a good cantaloupe. How beautiful is this? It seriously makes me feel like it's a nice summer day. Like something about cutting up a big fruit is just satisfying. Even though I just said I don't like cutting cantaloupe, this is just like, you know, it's putting me in a good mood. Summer's coming when things are looking up, like it's, the vibes are there. I've totally been snacking on these like as I've been cutting it. Mm. I need to prepare a Ninja Creamy right now if I want ice cream tonight because I don't have any in the freezer. So we are just gonna take a cup of milk, high protein milk. My go-to is peanut butter. However, last night I had this. I'm gonna make it again tonight. I'm gonna take a scoop of, this is called Magical Charms protein powder. It's essentially like Lucky Charms. Like it tastes like the Lucky Charms marshmallows by First Form. I kind of just made this recipe up and I like it. We're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then a little bit of sweetener of your choice. Mix it up, of course. And then we'll freeze it, and I'm excited to show you later what I mix into it. Duncan. It is such a nice day out. See, I always want an afternoon coffee, but I never finish an afternoon coffee. I even emptied a little bit of it before I put cream in it, because it's just like half-calf coffee, and then I did put a little bit of like regular creamer but it's so nice working outside. I wanna go up to the roof and work there someday, but I feel like it would be really hot right now. Maybe on like a cloudy day or a different time of day. It's so nice. I think I like this little life. Drink your water. All right, let's go for a walk. Come on. He hates his harness. <laughs> I don't think it's an uncommon thing, but he just looks so sad. I've definitely been lazy on the dinner recipes lately. I am gonna try my next vlog to have some fun meals so that we can cook together and whatnot. But today, I'm having leftover chicken that I threw in a taco. Nothing crazy, but we're getting the protein, a little more carbs, snacking on some more cantaloupe. And not gonna lie, I don't want a crazy big dinner because I'm really excited about my ice cream. <laughs> and like, my ice cream is very filling. You know, it's 33 grams of protein, so. I ordered another swimsuit from Strawberry Milk Mob and it got delivered. I'm excited to show it to you. I've had my eye on this one and it was sold out and they actually recently restocked it. The pattern is called Tiger Tail. This is the top, how fun. I, I seriously just love it. I don't know, like it looks so cool. Here are the bottoms, pretty cheeky but not like a thong thong. Hopefully we'll like it. I always order a size up in the bottoms compared to the top. Not just because that's my proportions, but also like a lot of their bottoms are pretty little and I don't want to show that much. But something else about me is I love swimsuits in warm tones. So like I have a lot of pink swimsuits, a lot of orange swimsuits. I do have a red one, but like I like the that family as opposed to like blues and stuff. Just personally on me. I don't know, like blue's cute, right? But like for me personally, I like to wear those. Let me show you my other one I got from them. I think I ordered this one last month. These are the bottoms. It literally just says like mob all over it. I think they're really cute. I like texture in my swimsuits because I feel like it's less revealing in the crotch area. <laughs> and then this is the top, which I think is so cute. It's this little like strapless thing. Adorable. And then I ordered the advent calendar back during Christmas time and this is the red one that came with it. Here are the bottoms. I would say this is actually my least favorite of the three. I've already worn the pink one. I really like the pink one, but I'm so excited about this one. Ooh. So I just watched the newest episode of American Horror Story, The Delicate Season, the one that Kim Kardashian's in. I started watching it when it premiered back in like last fall and then it stopped and then restarted and <laughs> 
I feel like this season is just so anti-climactal, if that's even a real word, or if that's the wrong... Climactic. Climactic. That's anti-climactic. I knew that something was off. It's just like, nothing happens. I also could not remember a lot, and I didn't care to rewatch it, but like, that's how insignificant this episodes have been, I feel like. What I do know though, is it's time for ice cream. I try not to eat super late because if I eat too late, I feel weird the next day. But so this is the Magical Charms one that I prepared earlier. And now for the mix-in, what I thought would be so perfect. So this tastes exactly like the Lucky Charms marshmallows. And with marshmallows goes graham crackers. So I'm mixing in Teddy Grahams. Well, it's like H-E-B's version of Teddy Grahams. I tried it yesterday and it was so good. Just throw them right in and use the mix-in. Look at that, how perfect. I'll do mix-ins kind of just depending on what the ice cream flavor is. Mm. Typically the mix-in is the most like unhealthiest part of the ice cream I make, but balance is key to everything. It really is just amazing how you can get such good ice cream using essentially protein powder and milk. <laughs> like that's kind of the base for most of my Ninja Creamies is milk and protein powder. And then I'll add sometimes, you know, PB Fit powder, sometimes more sweetener, sometimes like vanilla enhances it. It really just depends. Sometimes I'll mix in plain chocolate chips and like you can get good chocolate where it's like on the healthier side, you know, depending what you define as healthy. Mm. This one I will say is really sweet. Grace. It's Thursday, so we're watching Farmer Wants a Wife because our friend Grace is on. She's made it so far. I'm gonna put her Instagram in the description box. Check out Grace. The show just started, but I should make my nighttime drink to have for the rest of it. I've been good, and when I say I have been good, I'm talking like literally one day about not having it too late where I have to get up a million times to pee. So it's 8.16 right now, making it now, so that ideally if I wanna be asleep around 10.30, which we'll see if that happens or not, but like, that's over two hours from now. You know, we got time to process the water. I actually have no idea how long it takes your body to get liquids through your system. But still, put the creatine in there and now we have magnesium. So we asked the concierge to put Farmer Wants a Wife on the rooftop, like pool. There's a giant TV, they call it the Jumbotron. And she said she would, but we ran up there right before it started and it wasn't on. Like the channel wasn't the right channel. So sad, I wanted to post a story and be like, hey Grace, we got you on the Jumbotron. Like how cool would that have been? But just didn't work out. So maybe next week. Are you gonna get a bath, Dunks? So we have this wash station in our building and I've been dying to use it. We haven't brought them down here yet. I should put my hair up because who knows how this is gonna go. Duncan loves water, but I'm afraid he's gonna like get excited and jump out and stuff. What? What? Where are you, Dunks? Where are you? <laughs> oh! <laughs> skincare and like the nighttime bathroom scene anymore. So we're gonna do that. I just washed my face with this stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it once I run out because I think it's probably pretty expensive. I bought it in December in a bundle of things. So I don't know the individual price. However, a week or two ago, I got this. The new Derma High Frequency Wand that you've probably seen online. I followed a girl who's had it for like over a year before like TikTok shop made it go crazy. And I've always been so intrigued. It was also recommended by Lauren Bostick's esthetician and I was like, I'm gonna get it. So I got it. Like I said, it's a high frequency wand. It has two different types of gases. Argon gas is more for like blemish prone skin and then it also has Neon gas to treat aging. So I'll take the argon and I'll turn it on. I have clean skin and then you literally just kind of like go over your problem area. So I zap my chin like crazy. Cause that's like the worst part for me. It doesn't hurt or anything, but there's obviously like you can turn it up high or like low, you know? And then I will take the next one and this is for aging. I'll use this flat side to kind of just go over like my forehead and like cheeks and stuff. 
There's this one, how fun. This is for your neck. Your neck ages pretty quick compared to other areas. Isn't that crazy? There's also a comb that is good for your hair and scalp. However, I think my comb attachment is broken. I tried looking it up because I had a theory that it didn't work. I'm gonna turn the lights off and if it doesn't light up, I think it's broken. Yeah, there's nothing. I'm gonna try to contact the seller because like that sucks, you know, like I paid a good amount of money for this. I think it was like 90 bucks, but then it was on sale and then I have also an Amazon gift card, which Helps me justify the purchase, that's for sure. But it's like, if it came broken, like I should do something about that. Again, this is totally a luxury, not a necessity, but I'm experimenting around and trying to see if it helps with acne and stuff. I really think my red light has been a great addition. And I've just been really into tools lately. This is what the box looks like, if this looks familiar at all. Like I said, it's been like going crazy on TikTok shop, but I got mine off Amazon. As far as skincare, I've been like super, super minimal lately. I use this morning and night and then I have a morning serum that has like vitamin C and stuff, and then I have a nighttime serum, which I believe is more like exfoliating and stuff like that. I will use that. And then I have the moisturizer from that same brand. I also have a couple different moisturizers, a couple different like random products that I'll like sometimes go for on occasion. I feel like my views lately have just been skincare is great, but lifestyle, I think especially for me and like my skin issues, I think is almost like more important. You are so soft from your bath. All right, we are going to bed. <laughs> he heard a noise. Thank you so much for hanging out. Please subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you in my next one.